Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the Brooke Ashley, and today we are here to quickly discuss The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 12 trailer that dropped a few days ago. And when I tell you guys, I can't wait. Beverly Hills has always been a favorite of mine. They've always had some very solid seasons. The drama, the wealth has always been top tier. Always been a fan. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Last season aggravated me to no end. I did not like the microaggressions towards my girl Garcelle. But baby, in this trailer, it seems like Miss Garcelle has stepped up to the plate and she is letting everybody, including Miss Erica Jane, have it. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But let's just quickly jump into this trailer. I have quite a lot to say. It seems like the cast trips this season are going to be to Cabo and to Aspen. And one of you guys pointed out that this is going to be the third franchise going to Aspen because we saw SLC go to Aspen. Now Beverly Hills is going to Aspen. And the ladies in OC are now in Aspen for their cast trip this season. So Aspen seems like that girl of the season. But anyhow, the cast trips look lit. Kathy is back again as friend of the show. We now have Garcelle's best friend, Cherie Zampino, who is also Will Smith's first wife, joining as a friend of the show. I know that it's gonna be nice for Garcelle to have an ally. They've been friends for a number of years, and I remember Cherie from Hollywood Exes, and that was on VH1 with Prince's ex-wife and Eddie Murphy's ex-wife, Nicole Murphy. But Cherie, I'm excited to see what she's gonna bring on Beverly Hills. It's gonna be nice to see some more color on the cast, so I'm looking forward to it. And I remember Cherie being pretty feisty on Hollywood Exes, so I know she's gonna bring it if anybody tries it on Beverly Hills. And Cherie, please get Erica Jane and Lisa Rinna together. We also have another newbie joining the cast as a full-time housewife. Her name is Diana Jenkins. I did my Googles on her, and Miss Diana has a very long coin. Mama's net worth is $300 million. She used to be married to a banking executive named Roger Jenkins. And I mean, money on top of money on top of money. She sold her home in Malibu to the WhatsApp founder for $87 million. She walked away from her divorce with $195 million, okay? Bling, bling, bling. Bitches is mad. <laughs> it looks like Diana might be one of the villains this season. We see Sutton saying that she's a soulless individual or something of the sort. So we're going to see, but... Miss Diana Jenkins, welcome to Beverly Hills. I'm excited to see what she has to bring. Y'all know how I feel about Dorit. I wore Dorit out all last season, along with Kyle, Rena, and Erica. But it looks like this season is going to be focused on the robbery that took place at her home while her and her children were home sleeping and PK was away on business. And we see her and PK crying. So we're gonna explore that storyline. It looks like Erica is gonna be in the midst of more drama with the case looming over her head, dealing with the fallout of people questioning her last season, and rightfully so. But it seems like Erica has a chip on her shoulder and her and Garcelle are still going at it. And Miss Erica, I saw that nasty stuff that you pulled yesterday throwing Garcelle's book in the trash. But joke's on you, sis, because I'm willing to bet that Garcelle's book sales are going to skyrocket since you gave her some more press for free, like the dummy you are. And I'm so glad that Garcelle gets you together because in this trailer, she says to you, girl, I don't have to make you look bad. You do that on your own. I can't stand Erica, this little mob boss persona that she's trying to do. It's like, girl, please sit down. And it seems like Lisa Rinna is gonna have a lot to say about Erica's behavior as well. Because we hear Lisa Rinna say in the trailer that Erica is drinking too much and she's also on medication and the two don't mix. 
So I'm willing to bet that the two of them fall out because God forbid you're not kissing up to Erica. She wants to cut you off. So you know I'm going to be here when Erica and Lisa Rinna fall out. And Rinna, I'm going to always have smoke for you because I will never forgive you for how you did Lisa Vanderpump and Denise Richards. And you're going to always get it again and again and again. But it seems like Lisa Rinna's storyline is going to be more of the same, being two-faced, being an instigator, because we see Sis getting in the middle of Kyle and Kathy. She tells Kathy, you know, you're sitting up here saying all these horrible things about your beautiful sister. And Kyle is sobbing and telling her sister, Kathy, that she feels like Kathy hates her. And Kathy does not want to talk about this on camera. And she keeps saying, Kyle, Kyle girl, like, shut up. Like, I don't want to talk about this. And the camera flashes back to Rena. And there's this very evil smile on her face. We know that Lisa Rinna lives and thrives off of chaos, confusion, strife, and division. So to see her get in the middle of Kyle and Kathy, that's going to be some mess. Lisa Rinna, I just want you to hear me and hear me clearly. I cannot wait for the day that your card is pulled. And the season that that happens, I am going to relish in it because it's been a long time coming. The way you insert yourself into everybody else's business to deflect from what's going on in your life, it is absolute madness to me that you have skated by this long. But girl, your day is coming. Believe that. Kathy Hilton, I know you're probably pissed that you decide to sign back onto this show for another season because it looks like it's about to be some more mess between you and your sister. And like I said in my recaps last season, you, Kyle, and Kim all need to see a counselor or a therapist because something is not right between the three of y'all. Y'all have been fighting and arguing for decades now. And the fact that more stuff is being brought back up, this is craziness. I'm excited to see Miss Sutton back on. I thought that she was phenomenal last season. I love her and Garcelle's friendship. And the fact that they really are close in real life. Like we see them on Instagram all the time, hanging out. I love it. And Crystal is back and it looks like she's going to be exploring her eating disorder this season because we hear her telling some of the women that she does not always want to worry about what she's eating. Crystal touched on her issues a little bit this last season, but it looks like she's going to explore them even further for this upcoming season. But it appears that Garcelle, Crystal, and Sutton are about to be a very tight-knit trio, and it's going to be them against the Fox 4-5, or, or whatever they call themselves. <laughs> Kyle's storyline seems like it's going to be more of the same. Her crying about her relationship with her sister. And it seems like her and Erica are about to be on the outs too. Because Erica makes mention of wanting to expose Kathy. And you know how Kyle acts when it comes to her family. She feels like nobody can say anything about her sisters. And it's so funny because the way Kyle was kissing Erica's behind all last season was so sickening to watch. So to see them about to be on the out is going to be very funny. But I have my popcorn and drinks ready, so. <laughs> but y'all, that was my quick recap about The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Season 12 trailer. And the season premieres May 11th at 8 p.m. And again, I already have the champagne ready. Like, I cannot wait. Y'all, we're in for a treat. We have Atlanta coming May 1st. They're coming May 11th. It's going to be a good couple of months, okay? Summer is really about to be lit. <laughs> but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Bye.